point, Henry, come up and tell what it was like standing next to Dad in the base section. <laughs> Dad in the basement? In the base okay. section of the Metropolitan Harmonic oh. Chorus. Oh, okay. And Henry is one of the strongest voices, and, and he... And right, your father was part of that. Well, you know what my father used to say when, when he would come in to sing? He would say, I'm really a shortstop, but they needed a second base. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sing with, uh, actually, a number of choirs currently. Um, I commute between, actually, I'm singing with, I think, five groups at the moment. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no. uh, uh, usually, actually, I'm always one of the lowest voices there. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly one of the lowest speaking voices. Mm -hmm. So the very first time that uh, I actually uh, met uh, Len's father uh, was actually was at uh, Court Street, I believe. And I did my usual, hi, I'm Henry. <laughs> and he said, I'm Leonard's father. <laughs> 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 I, I would like to say, however, that, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, you, know, I, you know, I didn't know him very well, certainly. I didn't see him a lot. Uh, I did sing with him on several occasions. It was always a great pleasure. Uh, he was always very attentive, and he was very interested in music, as we can tell. Um, normally, I would say something like, um, uh, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, but I think in Leonard's case, you know, Leonard took a little detour around the, you know, around the other side of the orchard. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I would like to say that uh, some of the things that I see in Leonard uh, are things I really clearly saw reflected in, in his dad. Um, and so his dad certainly you know, made a great impression in terms of mostly how you turn it. I really want to thank him for providing this all this uh -huh. we, we had hoped to have a, a, a room with a piano here, but they it was one without. So Henry made up for it. Thank you again. You know that that, sto that story about uh, coming in like, reminds me. There's a very famous story of a, um, uh, a, a Russian Bostov singing. I think it, it was probably uh, the Grammy uh, aria at the end of Onegin when he sings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on a low G flat, which isn't that low, it sounds low, but it isn't that low. And the story is that uh, after you say that, people went, bravo, and from the back of the other time came, bravo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>